10. It is the policy of this government to afford all its citizens the enabling environment to achieve their full potential. I will assign this portfolio to the Honorable Jeremiah Norbert, who is an embodiment of the talent and potential of these disabled citizens. I, Jeremiah Norbert, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to St. Lucia, that I will uphold and defend the Constitution and the laws of St. Lucia, and that I will conscientiously and impartially discharge my responsibilities to the people of St. Lucia. So help me God. Nine. Because today is a very important occasion for the constituents of Miku North. These communities, have, as you heard, have been for some time going through the stress of a continuous, reliable, quality water supply in this part of the country. Together, let's look to forward to a future where every household has access to clean and reliable water and a constant supply of water, a future that we can all be proud of. Eight. The Water Resource Management Agency, WRMA, concluded a week-long intensive activity focused on characterizing groundwater resources, utilizing isotope hydrology techniques. Trying to quantify our groundwater resources. So we're um, employing different techniques uh, to assist us in, in, in that respect. And isotope hydrology looks like a very um, uh, feasible method that uh, the agency can easily engage with. Seven. In a bid to support local farmers and bolster agricultural productivity in Fort St. Jacques, 12 dashing farmers recently received financial aid. Extremely pleased that wherever we went in St. Martin and St. Croix, there was a high demand for dashing. And as a parliamentary for Super Fort St. Jacques, we felt, I felt that our farmers, as the area for our farmers, they have the strength, we have the right topography, soil type, and that is their strength. And we felt that to give them the motivation to develop the market better. Six. Global Affairs Canada and the World University Services of Canada WUSC, through the Sustainable Agriculture in the Caribbean Project, partnered to deliver a range of essential equipment to the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security, and Rural Development to aid in the hosting of farmer field schools along with digital USB microscopes and portable pH meters for soil testing. As we all know, the climate is changing uh, uh, globally, but also here in the Caribbean, and um, agriculture is changing accordingly, and we need to constantly be innovating, and uh, RISC is here to help support St. Lucia and St. Lucian farmers innovate. Five. The Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment has rolled out a comprehensive parenting coaching campaign as a food subcomponent of the wider crime and violence interruption program. Our workshop addresses the repercussions of parental trauma on parent-child relationships and offers strategies to manage past traumas, um, thereby fostering healthier relationships with the children. Four. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, in collaboration with the World Health Organization and the Pan-American Health Organization, annually observes the World Herring Day on March 3rd. The theme for this year's observance is changing mindsets. Let's make air and herring care a reality for all. We pledge our support to improving air and herring care in St. Lucia by building capacity in air and herring, procuring relevant equipment and supplies for effective and efficient services. First National Bank has teamed up with the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports and the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training in the staging of Island Champs. Our desire is to continuously improve and by God's help with the return of the George Audion Stadium and its recertification as an international track we will regain our equilibrium in our strategic direction for track and field. We want sports to be, as, to be seen as a career path and as a lifestyle program. Sports is no longer about a punishment or pastime, right? It's now ingrained in the education system in St. Lucia. So 
you know, we are pleased and we are humbled to be a part of this initiative. Two. On behalf of the players and extension the community, I'd like to extend my gratitude and appreciation to the Prime Minister for assist assisting us with this, um, with the boots and the uniform for the upcoming professional league. The semi-professional league is the first of its kind in St. Lucia. And what, it's, what it seeks to do is it seeks to create a livelihood for footballers. One. Happy International Women's Day to all of St. Lucia. International Women's Day is indeed a celebration for all. For women primarily, but for all people as well. I therefore call on all society to rally together to celebrate the progress of women and commit to going the extra mile to ensure that our ideas meet the resource to make it happen.